Hello everybody, this is Nick from Tapit, and welcome back to the second video in our sign up and setup tutorial. Last time we did steps 1 and 2, and this time we're going to be doing steps 3 and 4, which are mediation settings and house ads. If you followed along with me last time and click save and finish, have no fear, all you have to do is go to your dashboard, scroll down, select the app you created, and right along this bar up here, we, ha we are able to edit any of the information. So you can edit mediation and edit house ads right from here. Okay, so let's get to it. First up, mediation settings. So what are mediation settings? Well, Tappet has created a mediation platform for developers to monetize their apps with multiple ad networks, including Tappet. So what this will allow you to do is basically allocate traffic from multiple different ad networks. Oh, this was left on from a previous showing. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start with tap it right here. Let's allocate 80%. What this is telling is 80% of the traffic coming to our app will be coming from tap it, and we can select the area we would like it to come from. So we can select if we only want the traffic to be in the United Kingdom, we will select here. I would like more traffic than that, so we will select all. And you can also come over and filter by device. So you can choose specifically iPhone, iPod, iPad, Android, etc. We will select all for now and we'll leave that at that. This little button right here will just hide your information and bring it back out when you need it. Well, now that we have Tappet set up, let's take a look at the other ad networks in Mobi. So we see we have the exact same network allocation, the same country selector, and the same device targeting. The difference is here we have two fields. These fields require information from your InMobi dashboard, so you'll have to sign into InMobi and collect your site ID and MK version. If you're not sure how to do that from your selected ad network, simply go to support at tappet.com, so right up here, support.tappet.com, and if you scroll down to the bottom, the bottom left, right here in the middle, there's mediation settings. Select this link, and it'll pull up information on the different ad networks. So we're selecting InMobi. And if we scroll down, it'll show us where we can find our site ID and your MK version. This is different for each person, so keep that in mind. But this is a great resource if you need to find this information. One last thing to note, this will not work because we only have 80% of our traffic allocated. So we need another 20 to make it 100%. So no matter how many networks you have allocated, it always has to add up to 100%. So just keep that in the back of your mind. And last but not least, we have house ads. House ads are used in the event that there is no other ad to serve on your site or app. You will not make any revenue, but you will be able to direct the user to any other site or app you may have. So let's turn it on and see what we get. So here's the house ad interface, and we have a couple of options. The destination URL is where your user will be taken once they select the ad. So, for instance, another app or another site. Rotate URL is used if you have multiple apps or sites that you would like to take your users to. So if we select this, we now will see we can add in multiple sites. And this way, when the ad is clicked, it will be a different location every time. If we move down, we see the different ad types available. We have a banner ad, an HTML JavaScript ad, and Tappet's ad builder. Let's start with the banner ad. If you are already using creatives and posting banners up, this should be pretty simple. You choose a file, select your banner, click open, and tap it will immediately resize it to all of the sizes needed. Pretty simple. All you have to do is click save and you're done. If you have an HTML or JavaScript tag, you simply add it in here and select the dimensions. And last up, tap its nifty ad builder. This thing is cool. So this is great for those that don't already have pre-made creatives. So I like to come down first and select my size that I would like. So today we are going to start off with a 320 by 50. And in the headline, let's put in our tagline. So get more games. OK, so get more games. That looks a little thin to me. If we see over here in available macros, this shows us some handy little tips. So to bold the text, we need to put our text in between these B tags. So let me do that real fast.
Perfect, that looks a little better. Now let's change the font. I think I will go with Overlock SC. And I think the font size is good, but you do have the option to change it over here. But I'm going to stick with 18. Next we'll do our add copy. Free for a limited time. Moving on, you now have the option for changing the border color, which is a simple interface over here. Let's make it red. There we go. You also have this option for the text as well, so we can make this text red if we would like. And drag it up. There we go. Pretty simple. Background color, we can do this. This will change the entire color of the creative. Let's go with a really pale yellow. There, I think that looks nice. Okay, now that we have our background set, I think we are all good. You have the option to upload a little icon that will show up right here. I don't have one prepared. The only thing to keep in mind is it needs to be a 38 by 38 pixel image. So once you have that all set, all you have to do is click Save. And our house ad was successfully saved. Perfect. So, save and finish. And we are all set. So that's how you sign up and set up your first app or site. So thank you for watching.